Day two of the Casa Youth Soccer Classic gave us a chance to see both the defending champions Inter Miami on the 19th and the Jamaica Select team in action. The first game of the doubleheader saw Inter Miami clash with Plantation FC, who needed a win to at least give themselves a chance to play in a third place game on Sunday after losing to Tobago on day one. From the kickoff, Inter Miami took the lead through Reggae Boys under 20 player Kobe Thomas. From this point on, it was a Christian Ortiz show. He scored two goals in the first half and then another after the break to register the first hat trick of the tournament. Inter Miami coming out as 4 0 winners. Yeah, obviously, it was a really good start. It's always great to score in the first minute of any game. That kind of set the momentum. But I thought we had a really uh, productive first half. Obviously, made a lot of changes in the second half and uh, pleased, pleased to start off the tournament in this fashion. The fans were eagerly anticipating game two of this doubleheader, which featured Rush Select Academy and the Jamaica All Schools team. The game started fast with Rush pressing from the off. However, their tactics worked against them, the Jamaicans taking the lead through some pressing of their own and the skills of marksman Kahim Dixon. 1 0. Even with the lead, the Jamaicans were not allowed to settle at any point and that paid off for their opponents after 16 minutes, 1-1. And, and that causes a goal. While the Jamaicans were struggling to figure out the speed of the artificial turf, Rush continued to press and were duly awarded with a second goal, 2-1, after 33 minutes. Oh, that's not good, that's going to be a goal. That's most that became 3-1 just four minutes later, and, and the Jamaica partisan Jamaican in crowd in shocked. Halftime, Jamaica All Schools 1, Rush Select 3. Watch the man now. During the break, the Jamaican team's coaching staff made two changes that paid off as early as the 41st minute with Kahim Dixon scoring again. The Jamaicans made more changes and took charge of the second half. Late in the game, they thought they had fought back to earn a point but the flag was up for offside. 3-2, the final score. The surface have a lot to do with it. You know, first with some of us playing on it and the pace of the game also. You know, we, we have to get used to this type of surface and the quickness and the speed of which the players play on it. The opponent play on it. Um, they pressed us a lot. We didn't comfortably play from out at the back of the pitch. And I think we should have adjusted in going long and going into channel. We did that in the second half, and as it be a fruit, we got some counter attack on them. And, and I think we should have even got a point out of this game tonight. 